So, but you found this floor under carpet. Yeah, right. Stunk in it. Yeah, right. The carpets absolutely stank. Yeah, right. And I said to Steve, I'm sure there's carpet all um, bricks all the way under because he thought it was just around the top there. But I pulled it back there and saw all the brick under there. So, so first time it's seen the light of day for quite a few the, years, probably. Um, cable. So here's Ollie protecting the walls with um, cling film. I'll stop videoing him in a minute and give him a hand. <laughs> it's a good job. It takes a little while. But, uh, you need someone else holding the roll, really. It's the best way we found of protecting the walls. And you notice it's all so there's cling film around the this oak post and so on, and around the bottom of the wooden stairs and cling film up against that wall. Alright, that's the walls just about protected now with the cling film. Uh, we've hoovered the middle of the well the floor to remove as much dry dust as we can and we're just getting ready for the next stage now which is to spray down a detergent cleaner we're going to use a neutral pH cleaner on this floor because uh, there isn't much grease and so on as there would be in a, a kitchen that's been used um, and then we're going to scrub it with our Tasky and the brush, and uh, then more we'll power into it. So the next stage is to spray it all over with the detergent cleaner. Lovely, thanks. Yeah, lovely. Thank you very much. Here we're rinsing the uh, detergent cleaner off. High pressure. We're using about 1200 psi of power into this. And then we're going to go over the floor again with a solvent cleaner <coughs> to try and get rid of some of the staining. We've done a test patch on this side. And that is coming up better than just the detergent cleaner, which is that bad. So we're going to go over the whole floor with the um, solvent cleaner, which will again scrub in with the taxi. Right, we're here on our second day of working on this brick floor in Water Beach. Um, my father Max has just finished vacuuming the floor ready for us to seal. This is what it looks like just after the clean before we're sealing. We were here on Saturday, um, it's now Thursday, so we've left it a few days in between to allow all the bricks to dry out. Uh, so we're not trapping any moisture in when we're sealing it. Well, that's okay, that's the first coat of uh, sealer down, Swift Seal Ultra, which we use on these very porous floors to stop the stone tech uh, sinking in too far. So, uh, looking nice.
colour enhancing impregnating sealer. I'm going to give that a while to dry off before we come back with the top coat of uh, stone tech. Just the final few bricks to put the last layer of impregnating sealer on. Quite a time consuming process on such a rough surface. You've got to be careful to get it even. This is an enhancing impregnating sealer, so the colour differences, the patterns and the colours of the of the bricks in this case, but of anything really, are enhanced. So yeah, compared to what it looked like when we first saw it, it's pretty different. 